What's up guys, V here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can install a vertical GPU in almost any PC. So I got this vertical mount on Amazon. I'll have links down in the description. And I got a Cooler Master PCIe 4 riser cable. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed. So first thing we need are the screws. We're gonna go ahead and put this bracket or this longer one behind this one. You can either put it on the back side here and that way it sits more forward or you can put it here so the GPU sits back here. You can do it either way, do what suits your case best. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. I don't know if you can see that in the video. These are the screws for, so get your Phillips head. I wouldn't tighten them fully just yet because there is a little bit of adjustability. It can go up or down a tiny bit here. And then there's more adjustability here. Once you put it in here, you can adjust it higher or lower based on your needs. All right, now that we got that on, we're gonna go ahead and connect this bottom portion to this. So there's three holes here and three screw holes here. All you gotta do is line them up just like that and screw them in quick cut in the video this is after everything was already all done i'm about to install the bracket and i just wanted to let you know after the video was done i did end up removing this giant bracket every case is different in my case it works perfectly without it i was able to push this down and below the fans and then this thing is just resting on top of the fans and it's surprisingly very sturdy just wanted to let you know i do recommend it it does provide more stability so I'll let you continue with the video. Just wanted to let you know, just in case you choose to do that. Now, I just realized they only gave me one extra screw. It's the same screws that go right here, and I need three. Lucky for me, I have a whole container full of these type of screws and stuff. If you don't have these, what I recommend doing is just taking the two center ones out because you will need them for this. You don't need all four of these here. Anyways, get these three screws in, and there we go. And that's our bracket. Again, you can use this instead of that one if you wanna push your GPU out further, as you can see how much further that would be. All right, the next step to make this as easy as possible, get your PCIe riser cable. What you're going to need from the screws that come with the kit are these little standoff screws. And then you're gonna need the little small screws that come with the kit. So they're smaller than the ones we put on the bracket. What you need to do is Hold the standoff screw underneath the PCIe cable, align it with the hole, and then get the screw in there and snug it up pretty decently. Doesn't have to go crazy, but you know, just so it's not really moving anymore. And then do the same thing on this side here. And that's how it's gonna look once that's done. You got these two standoff screws and then the two screws there. Now we're ready to attach this to here, but there is quite a bit of adjustability here you don't want to just guess what i found to be the easiest way push this little lever in and then take your gpu and put it in until it clicks just like that what we got to do next is take off these thumb screws right here and now do a test fit and just let it rest on top just like that so put both of those thumb screws back in to hold this gpu in place and now the reason we've done that is because those standoff screws are now aligning with the holes underneath. Now all we gotta do, take two more of those small screws and just thread it into that standoff screw. I do the same with this top one. And now this is ready to go in the case. You could just put it in with the GPU already attached or you can take the GPU off. You would just take these thumb screws out and then press the little lever on the riser cable and then take the GPU out if you don't wanna risk putting it in all together. First things first, I'm gonna plug in the riser cable into my PCIe slot right here. So it'd be the same concept as putting in your GPU, you just gotta hear that click, make sure it's fully seated. Then what you're gonna do is push this into the correct position. And again, we're gonna have to bend this down and stuff and we'll make it work. I have my GPU power cables right here that we're going to run behind the GPU and flip them around and plug them in just like that. And now here are the other screws that I'm gonna need to screw this bracket into my case PCIe slots. You can raise this up a little bit if you want it to be sort of 
floating. I'm just gonna set it down on these three fans. So all we gotta do, align it with these screw holes here. And like I said, there is some adjustability so you can go up or down. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the first screw in, but I won't tighten it all the way just yet. And all you really need is two screws for this. Now my case also has this bracket that goes right here. Let's see if this fits. It does fit. It's a little bit tight, but it's okay. All right, now all that's left to do is to go ahead and put the GPU in place. We have to get this cable folded and out of the way. You won't see that cable once the GPU is in place. And you just take the GPU, line it up with that PCIe slot. The, well, not the slot, but the cable until it clicks just like that and then put the thumb screws in in my case there's like hardly any space in here all right i got one and now i got the second one in and now we just got to plug in our power cables onto the gpu plug in this first one now let me show you the back here so with a display port it doesn't really fit if you use the longer one you can always fit this through and just push it in and that way with the longer one, the cable can go in further and then I can flip it sideways and plug it in. So if you don't wanna cut your case, I would recommend using this longer one. However, for me, I'm gonna actually cut these off. But if you don't want to do that, then definitely use this. And again, this short one might actually, in your case, allow it to fit. Just really depends on your case. Some cases are different. Just uh, give it a shot. And if not, you know, then put the long one. The other option for me is I can definitely mount it up here, but then the GPU is gonna be way too close to the glass. I don't really like it. So I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna cut these off just to show you the process in case you end up doing it. But at the end of the day, it's gonna be up to you. So I'm just using these and cutting it as close as possible to the edge. Just be careful because these will be sharp. You could file it down if you want or use a rotary tool to like smooth this out or something, which I might do in the future. And if you are gonna use like a file or something, it's always best to do this before the motherboard's in, of course. You don't wanna hit something by accident. That's the main reason I'm not gonna do that right now. And uh, honestly, this isn't bad. I'm never really gonna see this. Again, not a big deal. It's all up to you. This is how I'm gonna do it. I'm happy with it. Now when I'm gonna go plug this in, it's just gonna plug in just like that, just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together and we're all done. Well, there it is, all finished. I think that turned out really well and I'm very happy with it. Let me know down in the comments if you would have done anything differently. And as always, I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.